On the 25th of May 2021, using our floating patented jettyless iKey, eConnect Energy delivered a cargo of LNG to one of Norway's busiest ports, Heroya Industrial Park. Today we are taking LNG from Coral Energy behind me, uh, which is uh, owned by Antony Fader and chartered by Gasum, and we are uh, discharging LNG to the terminal using the, the iKey. I really enjoy working with this talented team and see this technology come to fruition. And I love their energy and their dedication to uh, bringing this technology out uh, to commercial operation. I wave safe, environmentally friendly, cost effective and very fast to implement, providing energy to any customer without the need of constructing expensive maritime infrastructure. Let's take a closer look at the various stages of the operation to give a better understanding of how our iKey system works. Stage 1. Ship mooring and iKey preparation. On arrival, the LNG carrier Coral Energy was moored in a pre-installed buoy mooring system. During the pre-mooring, additional important steps are conducted such as safety checks and the pre-cooling of the floating hoses. Stage 2. iKey transit. The iKey is moored to a tug and is towed to the Coral Energy. Once the iKey is shipside, the impact fenders are engaged and the vacuum mooring system is deployed. The operator crew boards the iKey from the tug to begin the connection stage. Stage 3. Connection. The hose saddles are first lifted onto the carrier, which is then followed by the hoses themselves. The crew aboard the carrier bolt the hoses to the carrier manifold. The aerial hoses are then purged. All crew board the tug, which then departs the unmanned iKey, completing the connection stage. Stage 4 LNG transfer. Before transfer, an ESD simulation test is conducted and the platform aerial hoses and piping are pre cooled. LNG flow commences. The transfer is controlled and monitored from the onshore control room. During the operation, we took the opportunity to measure the flow rate, friction and pressure of LNG in the floating flexible hoses. And now we are discharging uh, LNG. We are finding the, the pressure loss in the floating hoses. We will be the only company in the world that has access to the friction factor of floating LNG hoses. Stage 5. Disconnection. The tug returns with the IKE crew to begin the final disconnection stage. The crew aboard the carrier unbolt the hoses from the ship manifold and the hoses are lowered back down to the iKey. The iKey is returned to shore by tug and moored again while the carrier departs. This ship to shore LNG transfer was an opportunity to prove the capabilities of our floating system. The iKey makes LNG accessible to consumers or importers that does not have a uh, infrastructure in place or they want to expand their infrastructure. For Asia, uh, South America maybe and Caribbean, we, I think we will see a, a huge growth in, in this business. The impression of today is that it's very smooth, it's very safe and uh, it seems like the, both the vessel and the IQ is performing very, very well. The IQ is well positioned for deployment in remote areas where installing a marine jetty may be cost prohibitive and impactful to the local environment. We built this unit in, in nine months. Uh, we deployed it uh, in two days to this site and it can also be moved to another location. My impressions of the process were actually that it was a safe and a well thought operation. There were no loose ends and very good communication with the, you know, with the people from the shore and the ship during the whole operation. The world is in the midst of an energy transition, which is only going to accelerate. And eConnect Energy is right in the middle of that transition by offering this uh, iKey uh, technology, uh, enabling cheaper and cleaner energy to the world. We are eConnect Energy, enabling clean, sustainable energy worldwide.